That's Call Me, the latest single from independent Wellington singer, songwriter and producer Josie Moon. Her EP, Rose Tinted, was released last week and she joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Josie. Hi, thank you for having me. It's really nice to have you in the studio. Now, this, I love the video too, which thank is all you. shot around the chateau, isn't it? Yeah, Tom 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 Such a beautiful part mm -hmm. of the country. Yeah. Um, how, so you, I mean, have you always been around music or is it a new thing for you? Um, I think like my dad used to play me guitar and stuff when I was growing up, but um, I never got into actually writing it until um, after I turned 18 and I got singing lessons for my birthday. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't know I could sing until then. <laughs> what a discovery at yeah. 18 to go, I have this thing. <laughs> yeah. So Rose Tinted has been re received really, really well. How's it doing on the charts and stuff like that? Um, after I was charted, which was the first single, um, and we're yet to get the update for the full EP, but yep. um, I'm slightly hopeful about That's it. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I just want to go back to that, the fact that you didn't know that you could sing until <laughs> yeah. you were 18, because you're only 21 now, aren't yeah. you? So it's only a few years mm. ago. So what? So you, you went through your whole teenage years just not thinking that you could hold a show? I didn't think I was very good. <laughs> and so why did your parents get you that present for your 18th? Um, so I kind of got to the point where I was in my first year of university and was really looking for other things that I was interested in. I wasn't enjoying what I was studying. And um, I just started writing music by myself just as like something to do and take my mind off it. Um, and then my parents kind of noticed and was just like, you know, do you think we should get you some singing lessons to help encourage that? Yeah. And look what happened. Yeah, now. <laughs> they say it's history. Mm. So you've been doing some gigs and, and stuff. Has there been a highlight so far? Because you've, you've, you have been around and, and obviously having a bit of fun while you're doing it. Yeah, um, I think like a couple of shows that really stand out to me. Um, I opened for Tash Sultana um, down in Wellington wow. Wow. a little bit ago, which was incredible. Biggest audience I've ever played to, like one and a half thousand people. Um, yeah. And then I played my first um, Auckland show on Friday here. And that was a really warm welcome, and it was just really fun to play. Yeah. It must be really nice to get that that feedback off the crowd too. Yeah. You got them. It's I find it really fascinating. So you, you you're young and in the music industry, mm. and obviously you're getting noticed now. So you're at the beginning of everything. Yeah. How do you keep your image or or keep yourself grounded as to how you want to be perceived? I mean, I think being genuine is the most important thing because you can't trip up being yourself. Like yeah. you just have to do what feels right to you. Um, and try and just make sure that everything you're doing has the best intentions and yeah. Yeah, that's a great line. You can talk <laughs> about being yourself. I, like <laughs> yeah. that. I really like that. I'm, I'm curious, um, there's been mention that 2015 wasn't such a great year for mm. you. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, so I was depressed. Um, I was basically studying in university um, because I felt like I had to. I was told by a lot of my teachers that it was something I needed to do and I kind of got pushed into it um, and really like the only thing Thing that kind of got me through it was being distracted by progressing and making music and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was uh, pretty tough, yeah. Do you have any advice to anyone, maybe young people that are going through something similar? Uh, it's hard because I think it's different for everyone, but yeah. um, find people that support you and like have your best interests. Um, having people that like can really be around you and encourage you to get through certain periods of your life is one of the most important things Find I think. Find your tribe. Yeah. Do you think that your music has been influenced by that or your music has changed in some way because of what you went through in 2015? I think um, it means that I'm taking everything more seriously. I think like as soon as I decided to start pursuing music that was it, like there wasn't going to be a plan B. I was kind of like I can't imagine doing anything else now, like this is the one thing I'm choosing to do. Go all in, I yeah. say. Yeah. I mean, what have you got to lose? Yeah, exactly. You might as well give it a shot. Mm. Hey, well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for with having you. me. And looking forward to seeing big things from you. We can Thank say you. we knew Josie. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Josie's EP, Rose Tinted, is out right now, and you can check her out online for more information.